Hello guys, how are you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 12 of Review Starlight today and I'm really curious to see what is going to happen during uh, this final episode. It was um, really emotional to watch uh, um, these previous moments with Karen being in uh, a lot of pain because of how uh, Ikari uh, was missing. And uh, because of that, I was also suffering a lot because uh, I really wanted them to be together um, by the end of this story. Of course, it's still not over, but uh, like since uh, the auditions ended, I was already like wanting um, these two girls to be together for their promise uh, to be uh, fulfilled. So, unfortunately, that wasn't uh, possible and in a big part uh, because of um, Ikari. And um, this was something that um, I now have a better understanding, uh, mostly because of um, you guys' help. So, that is something that um, I appreciate um, a lot. Um, and yeah, I want to talk a bit about um, that moment, so pretty much the start of um, the previous uh, episode, um, when um, Ikari decided to not steal any of these um, girls' uh, glimmer. So, of course, she was um, mostly worried about uh, uh, Karen, we all know how um, she feels about this whole situation, um, but um, I wasn't fully aware of um, the consequences, so she decided to be the only one um, fueling um, this uh, tiara, so with that uh, the other girl's um, glimmer uh, wouldn't be taken. And uh, we saw how they were um, like pretty much excited about um, this uh, festival, they were working really hard on um, like pretty much preparing uh, uh, everything uh, for, that, um, for that moment. But when it came to, to Karen, it was really different and she was even questioning um, herself, like why she was um, like doing this. It, it's like she lost um, her glimmer, even though that was something that Ikari tried to prevent. So apparently the reason this happened was um, because uh, Ikari didn't think about how, what makes... Uh, or, or like how um, Karen's uh, uh, glimmer is pretty much um, this promise, this uh, like how she really wants to be on stage together with uh, Ikari. And since um, that wasn't going to be possible anymore because of Ikari's uh, decision, like Karen um, got um, like her glimmer taken away from her, um, like as well because of that. So. I'm sorry if I'm not making myself um, understandable, I'm trying to explain this as best um, as possible. But yeah, it really makes um, everything um, really interesting. It's, it's like, um, it's like uh, one of you guys said, how um, this goes back to, um, to that moment when Ikari was trying to prevent um, Karen from going to the auditions uh, because she didn't want um, her um, uh, to lose. Uh, but by doing so, she was um, going uh, to lose anyway by default. So right now, she was pretty much um, like not doing the exact same thing. But um, it's like um, she was thinking so much about protecting uh, Karen that uh, she ended up um, making a decision that uh, would um, like that wouldn't work um, in the end. So. Again, it's just really unfortunate because, uh, like, Ikari really cares about her and it's not like she wanted to make um, her suffer like this. But yeah, either way, I'm uh, at least uh, happy about how things uh, ended uh, during the episode, so how she was, um, like, how Karen was going uh, for this place, uh, trying to find uh, uh, Ikari, and um, she's like, apparently really trapped inside um, of this tower, so what makes me happy is that there's hope that um, she might uh, be like freed from there and uh, we might still be able to see Karen and um, Ikari together on stage. I don't know if during uh, um, this, um, this festival, because things are pretty much already decided, but considering the power this um, tiara has, or like this um, I believe it's the tiara that gives them uh, 
the power, what enabled uh, uh, Banana to... I just called her Banana, like I, I meant uh, Nana, but I guess it's her nickname. Um, it's what enabled her to, um, to pretty much make this loop. So, again, I don't know if um, things could happen in a way to, to kind of, like, change reality again. So, to pretty much, uh, like, start this over and make it so Karen and Ikari would be the lead performers during this uh, festival. But um, at the same time, if this happened... I would be really sad about um, Maya and Claudine, because they, of course, uh, deserve those roles. They are really good. So, again, it's really hard to, um, to know what uh, will happen, and I just really can't wait to, um, to find out more about uh, all of this during um, this final episode. So, just hope you guys are ready, and I started. <laughs> it's really enjoyable to see all of them together. Are those oranges? Decorated ones? Exactly what I meant. Is are those stars? Oh, there she is. And I'm so excited about this moment. It's like these are stars.
Karen, Karen is here. And this whole situation. There's just like so much to it. I'm really just invested on it. Like they have everything prepared for the two of them, but what she said How long has Karen been away for? Oh, she's right next to her now. Oh, damn. The other seven badges. It's it's just like in the story. What worries me is the end of the actual story. Is the same thing going to happen again? It feels like she's kind of in a loop. Feels like she's been doing this over and over again. There it is again.
Yeah. It's really sad. Oh, we're yerping. He just... She's remembering. Oh, damn. Wait, he's going to jump. Typical Karen. It's pretty much how everything started. When she also jumped during the auditions for the first time. And I wonder what's going to happen. It's She's going to get her outfit again. Is it going to be the same or? Review of Star Sins. So Karen pretty much has to defeat her. To save her. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. That's a good point. I love how he's literally talking with us.
Damn, this moment. Oh. She's trying to make her fall from the stage of destiny. Oh, she actually did it! She actually defeated Karen. Man. Wait. It's coming back up? Was the European like fool to this stage? Yeah. Damn, and the stage is like... So beautiful. Oh, damn. Man, this is making me all emotional again. Damn, the Tokyo Tower just... united them. Promise Tower Bridge. And what a moment.
new chapter, the Starlight Gatherer. And now they're going to perform together, right? So beautiful. Finally happening. And I love this, how they were holding ends on top of that place. This is the actual festival already happening, right? The 100th one. Sorry, they actually got the... Oh, there's the giraffe. So they actually got the lead roles? And this is... So amazing. By nine stage girls, it changed. It's like a whole new story now. Man, and there's no ending, that was pretty much, was pretty much it. Man, I swear, I don't even know what to say after this. It's like everything I wanted came through. Like, them becoming, them coming together, like, changing uh, the story and, like, pretty much the, the end of it. Man, I don't even know, it was just just amazing it's like it it really i don't know like i don't even know how to put it it's like something that you feel right it's like usually really hard for me to to talk about things after moments like this but yeah it was a really beautiful story in the end i enjoyed it so much like 
getting to learn all about these girls and to, um, to understand this whole story um, bit by bit. And again, like, even um, while not um, understanding uh, every single detail during um, these episodes, with all of you guys' help, it was um, much more um, enjoyable. Like, you guys helped me a lot um, understanding uh, uh, more of these details and, uh, like, being more um, on track. And uh, now, at the end of this, um, of this story, I'm just really, really pleased. It was really, really enjoyable to watch this, and I'm really happy by the fact that uh, Karen was able to change um, the story, like, the, the end of it, and because of that, they were able to be um, together on stage, both Karen and Ikari. And their promise came true, so it... It was fulfilled. So again, it was this episode was um, like I said before, everything I was uh, hoping for, and it makes me like makes me want more. Of course, like it, it makes me remember like talking about this about wanting more makes me remember the moment with the giraffe, how he was pretty much talking with with us, and he was making some really good points. It's like a performance. Uh, is um, only complete or only like completely fulfilled or so to say I'm not too sure about the exact terms but it's pretty much um, like that only when um, both um, the the stage um, performers and um, the audience um, come together like when they are together like of course uh, it's never going to be the same thing when uh, you are like um, a stage performer and there's no uh, audience. Um, and um, of course, there can't be an audience if there isn't um, a stage performer. So again, it it was just uh, like a great point by um, the giraffe how you need both of them to to make um, this uh, uh, work. And yeah, like it was just, uh, it was just really well done how he was telling that to us, how we were this audience and we were watching over um, these girls. So again, it just made me really happy to hear that because, like I've been saying before, this story made me really attached to um, these girls and hearing the giraffe uh, saying something like that, it just really hit me. Like again, I don't know what else to. To say about this story, it was, it was like, it wasn't that long. This um, this anime, like twelve episodes, it's pretty, it's pretty much, um, like I don't want to say the shortest, but it's like I don't know how to put it, but like twelve episodes isn't that long. It's what I'm trying to say. But usually, something that uh, I became used to is that. Um, a lot of these um, like shorter um, stories without many seasons uh, even they usually have some really great um, like their stories are usually really great so it's uh, just amazing how much they are able um, to pack in 12 episodes uh, alone like how much there is to it like i there's um, like some um, anime that I, I watched with many many episodes and many seasons as well and uh, of course uh, I'm not saying those stories are bad or anything I'm just like kind of trying to make um, a comparison but um, if we take uh, 12 episodes out of those um, anime with many seasons they usually don't pack as much um, as these ones do like with anime with only 12 episodes so Again, that's pretty much my point. It's not by having um, like uh, like a few episodes or only 12, 12 episodes. That's not... Um, that doesn't mean that the story isn't good. Uh, like most of the time, it's the complete uh, uh, opposite. So again, really, really impressed by everything that happened during this story. This was definitely really, really well done. And uh, again... I would really appreciate you guys' help to make me understand uh, even uh, more because, um, of course, uh, I I feel like I understood most of what happened during this episode and a lot of the things, it's, again, something that you feel. It's really hard um, to even explain it. 
But um, there's just uh, so many um, small details and it, it's uh, easy to sometimes miss those. So again, it would be really appreciated if you guys could um, just share with me everything that uh, you talked um, about this story and uh, if there's something um, that um, I missed um, as well. Um, and yeah, I also know that um, there's um, three OVAs before the movie, so I'm going to to watch those uh, uh, before and I'm going to put those um, in a single video as well because apparently they are not um, uh, that long. Um, and yeah, afterwards it's uh, movie time and uh, considering how the story was, um, like at least this story was uh, over during this, uh, during this season, it makes me wonder what will happen during um, the movie. So now I can like... I already know that uh, it's at least not going to be about um, this um, performance, like this uh, festival. But yeah, like, either way, I'm just really excited to watch this. No matter what it is, I can already um, feel the, the excitement. Like, seeing how this season was so well done, it makes my expectations um, become really high for the movie, of course. So, again, just really can't wait um, to watch it. Um, and yeah, there's also something else I want to mention um, before I finish um, this uh, video. And it's the fact that um, by the end of the episode, they showed um, this uh, festival, so the 100th uh, one. So we saw, as I was thinking before, that Karen and Ikari were playing um, the lead roles, like the roles of um, Flora and Claire. So... This means, I don't, like, I'm, I'm actually going back just to see where Maya and Claudine were. Because uh, I was uh, already saying that it would be, of course, beautiful to see both Karen and Ikari on the stage during this festival together. But, um, like, I wouldn't want it at the cost of um, Claudine and Maya not uh, having the role because they also deserve it. Of course, it's like, I guess uh, the fact that they have played this role for a long time already, like they played it like in a loop for a long time, I guess it makes me feel um, less sad or so to say. So again, it still, um, it still makes me like, I don't know, have like mixed feelings about it. And yeah, there's Maya and um, Claudine. So I was like so immersed in, in, in the moment that I was like not uh, not even like seeing them, like thinking about uh, their position and uh, where they were. But yeah, they were pretty much uh, on the stairs. And then there was... Uh... So there was... It's, it's actually really, really interesting how they did this because six of those girls were on the stairs and then there was um, Ikari and Karen on top playing um, the lead role. And it was um, Nana being... Um, I, don't, I don't know if I should say the narrator. But it's like she was... Um, yeah, she was pretty much... Um, I don't know if the narrator of, or if uh, literally another role. I can't remember this part of the story that well from the actual Starlight story. I know there was someone talking while the, the play was happening, so I guess it's like the, the role of the narrator. I might be wrong, so uh, correct me um, if that's um, the case. Uh, but yeah, it was just interesting because, again, there was those six girls uh, on the stairs, and then um, Karen and Ikari on top playing the lead roles, and then Nana who's been um, a big part of this story. She was literally the reason uh, they were looping and like she was like always winning um, those um, auditions. And uh, like it's interesting that she got um, this role of... Uh, like, I'm not even sure how to put it, but we see how the story changed, how the, the end of the story um, was different this time. And it was uh, Nana literally narrating it. So that's um, pretty much what I found really interesting about um, this uh, whole moment. And yeah, that was like the case with many other moments during this episode. There was that one with uh, Karen um, being defeated and falling. 
but then uh, her hairpin given to her by Ikari fell in that um, like I don't know how, how exactly to put it like I don't want to call it magma but pretty much the burning uh, like stuff I don't know like the the right name but it pretty much burned it and it's like um, it um, like like the stage reacted to it. it it's like it felt um, the like Karen's emotions and her desire to be together with um, with Ikari. That's at least what I got um, from it. So again, it, things might be different. That's why uh, it's uh, really helpful to um, share different um, views with um, uh, with um, other people. And yeah, again, this was just uh, a marvel to watch. I was not expecting um, to to enjoy um, this whole story as much as I did. But yeah, it's a really good thing and I really can't wait to um, to see what's going to happen during um, both um, the OVAs uh, and then um, the movie. So, with this, just hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this final episode. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next videos.